Okay, hello again. We're going to get started with lesson number two of our video. So today we are working on triangles. Triangles. Now you have known what a triangle is probably since before you were in kindergarten, but there's always new stuff to learn. So today we're working on classifying. Another way of saying that would be like to name them or organizing uh, triangles by angle and by sides. So we're actually going to be doing this two ways. Kind of like, let's give the triangles a first name and a last name. One, we're looking at their angles, and then one, we're looking at the sides, um, their little side lines of the triangle. Okay, so we're going to start by looking at how can I name different kinds of triangles by looking at their angles. Let's do that one first. Now, you guys are experts already on types of angles, but let's do a quick review, right? Hmm, that's a good place to start, actually. You remember what a right angle is. Okay, a right angle would be forming a perfect square corner, right? We also say that a right angle has or measures 90 degrees exactly, right? Like it's perfect square corner. And we also know that we have angles we call acute. Right? And acute angles are going to be smaller than or less than a right angle. So they're less than 90 degrees if you have a protractor to measure them. But usually we can use our eyes pretty safely to tell if an angle is less than 90 degrees. Right? Or we can use the corner of something perfectly square to kind of tell that it's smaller. And then we have obtuse angles which are more than 90 degrees or greater than, right? And they usually look kind of like a wide open mouth or something. And so again, we can usually recognize them pretty well, even when you don't have a protractor. Right angles, you gotta be careful because they can be tricky. Um, but yeah, so knowing these three that we've already learned before, we're going to now use them to name types of triangles. And remember, we talked about this in class, Tri means three, right? So triangles are shapes that have one, two, three angles or places where their line segments meet. And we're only looking at the angles on the inside of the shape, okay? So to name triangles by their angles or classify them by their angles, we're just going to look at the types of angles inside, okay? And so we're going to start with... Um, right triangles and we're just going to we use the same names as we use for the angles for the triangles that have them so a right triangle what must a right triangle do to be considered right okay so a right triangle has one right angle now remember Triangles always have three angles, but to be called a right kind of triangle, all it takes is for one of your angles to be a right angle, and you get that name, okay? So let's say we have a triangle that looks like this, and we've measured that this is 90 degrees, so it's a right angle. Even though I see the other two are little, they're acute, it does not matter. If this angle is right, then the whole triangle gets called right. Okay, so that is one kind and all you need is one right angle and you call it a right triangle. Now let's look at acute. Okay, an acute triangle, remember acute angles are less than 90 degrees or less than a right angle. So what does it take to be called an acute triangle? Hmm, remember this triangle actually has acute angles. So having just one, I don't think is enough. An acute triangle needs to actually have three, three acute angles before we can say, okay, yep, this is an acute triangle. Okay, so all, all the little angles in an acute triangle are less than 90 degrees. They're all acute one, two, three of them have to be less than 90 degrees, and then this triangle can be called acute. Okay. 
and then we of course have obtuse triangles and again this has to do with obtuse angles that are greater than 90 degrees but this one just like the right triangle just needs one we need one obtuse angle one obtuse angle and we can call the whole triangle obtuse so if the one angle is bigger than 90 degrees like this this one is an obtuse angle the whole triangle gets called obtuse okay another way you could think about it is really check your triangles and decide what is the biggest angle I see if the biggest angle I see is right then the right right is a right triangle if the biggest angle I see is acute they're all acute little angles then the whole triangle is called acute and if the biggest angle I see is an obtuse angle then the whole triangle gets called obtuse so that is classifying your triangles by angle and let's go ahead and do some practice with that so we're going to use some pictures from our book again but we'll do it together since I know you may not have them we are going to be having a look at these examples and deciding what to call them one of our options are right triangle acute triangle or obtuse triangle looking at this one let's see these shapes all have names so this is shape D triangle D so let's see look at it we're paying attention to the angles this angle looks acute so should I say the whole thing is acute well let me check first because remember to be an acute triangle all three of them have to be acute so this one's acute this one looks like it's acute but look at here let me check with a corner or something mm -hmm. that is a right angle so remember what we said if one angle in this triangle is right then the whole shape gets called right so this is a right triangle I'm gonna put the shape for triangle as a symbol this is a right triangle and I know that because one angle is right the other two are acute but it doesn't matter if the biggest angle is right then the whole triangle gets called right okay on to the next one this is triangle E hmm. Again, let's look at all those angles. This looks like cute. Remember, it looks like a little tiny mouth or like a peace sign. This one looks like cute as well. And let's look at this one. Uh, let me check it again. When you suspect it's good to use something straight to check, yep. We have another right angle. So you tell me what's this called? This is another right triangle. And I only know that because one angle is right. That means the whole shape gets the name right. Okay. Next page. Let's look at the next page. All right. Triangle F. I'm looking at the inside angles. I see an acute one here. And I see an acute one here. But remember, before I run and call it an acute triangle I need to prove that all three are acute otherwise it's something else so I'm looking at this last angle here is it a right angle hmm kind of hard to tell but just looking let me line up a corner no it's not a right angle it's actually larger than a right angle so that is obtuse and if one angle is obtuse the whole triangle gets called obtuse. Okay, so we found an obtuse triangle. That means, yeah, the other two are acute, but if one angle was obtuse, the whole shape gets the name. On to this one. Triangle B. Okay, kind of start trying looking at them by yourself. What do you notice about just go through each angle on this side. Does this look acute? It does look acute to me. What about this one? It's not bigger than 90 degrees, so that's acute. And that's acute as well. I have acute, acute, acute. One, two, three acute angles. Remember what we said? 
if all three angles are acute, then the whole shape can now be called acute, acute triangle. So that's what we'll do here. Acute triangle. All right, last page. We're looking at shape A in this page. Have a look at those angles. Take a moment and try to kind of do that one by yourself. Can you tell? I'm looking at my shapes and thinking, is that 90 degrees? Remember, 90 degrees is like a straight corner of a square. This looks like less, so that's an acute angle. That's an acute angle. It looks like a little peace sign. It's less than 90 degrees. And even up here, again, acute. And when I have all three angles in a shape that are acute, then the whole shape gets the name. So this is an acute triangle again. All right, last one. It's an interesting triangle, but hey, all you need to do is have three angles only and then you're a triangle, so we can't count him out. So let's have a look at those angles. Again, I see a very tiny angle here, definitely acute. And a very tiny angle here, definitely acute. But what about this one? Just make sure. I'm going to check for right, even though I don't... That looks bigger than right to me. I want to be sure. Yeah. Way bigger than a right angle. So this is an obtuse angle. And remember, if you have one obtuse angle, that's enough to make the whole shape an obtuse triangle. Okay? So one of the pages that you'll be working on today you will be asked to classify your triangles by saying if they're acute, right, or obtuse, and you're going to be looking at the angles to do that. And that is also a page that you can fill on your computer. Now, let's look at classifying triangles by their sides. Okay, let's look at classifying triangles by sides. This is the other way to name them. Okay, so a triangle can be acute and it can get another name as well based on not how many sides it has because they all have three sides. But we're looking now at how long their sides are. You may notice that you can have all these three are triangles, but they don't look quite the same. And that's because the sides are different sizes, different lengths. And so this is another way that mathematicians in geometry classify their triangles. So they might look at how long the sides are and there are special names for these kinds of triangles as well. So let's look at those and let's get started with this one. Now you may notice with this triangle, there's again three different ways. This triangle has of course three sides, but we are told that they are all measuring two units. I don't know if it's inches, centimeters, what, but they're two units. Side one is two, two is two, and three is two. All the sides measure the same, okay? And this is a special kind of triangle. It looks very even, okay? And they're actually called equilateral triangles. Now, if you look at this word equi, like equal, okay? So think about it that way, equal sides. All three sides are equal in length. Two, 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 they're all equal. And lateral, is another word for side okay so if you look at something from the side you could say you're having a lateral view of it so equilateral means equal sides a triangle that has all sides equal length so we'll write that here equilateral okay equilateral and do try to practice saying these words so they get really familiar to you because they are kind of new words for a lot of us so equilateral is a triangle where when I measure or I see the measurement, they are all the same. Okay, let's look at this next one. You can already probably tell that these sides are not all the same. It doesn't look even. And when I look at the units that I was told about this triangle, this one, this side is one. This side is two. 
this side is 3. They're all completely different from each other. Okay, no side is equal. Or you could think about it as all sides are different. So equilateral, all sides are equal. This one, all sides are different. And this has a name as well. This is called a scalene triangle. Put it down here. Scalene triangle. Okay, and scalene tells us that when I look at my angle, at my triangle sides or the line segments on the edges of it, they're all going to have a different measurement from each other. Okay, they don't have to be in order like one, two, three. This could be 15 and this could be two and this could be three. They just have to be different from each other. All three of them, a different number. Okay, and that would mean it is a scalene triangle. Okay, and the last way to um, classify triangles by their sides is called an isosceles triangle and that's a fancy word for you if you ever want a good a good spelling practice try this one isosceles isosceles triangles are special because their sides are not all equal but they're not all the same okay so an isosceles triangle is somewhere in the middle it has two sides that are equal to each other but the third one is different Okay, so with those ones, scalene, all three are different. Equilateral, all three are equal. Isosceles, two of them are equal, but one is different. And it doesn't matter which way that looks. Usually they will look something like this, like a, like a TP. Okay, so this is an isosceles. SC triangle. And so that's the other way that we're going to be classifying our triangles today. We're going to be looking at the length of their sides and deciding are they equilateral, they're all equal, scalene, are they all different, or isosceles, are two equal and one different. So we're going to go ahead and work through our examples again. And this is what I was saying. You can look at the same triangle and give it a first name and then a last name. <laughs> so remember, this is the same shapes that we worked on just now. Right, we started with saying they're angles, and this one's angle. This one was a right triangle, but now we're not going to be calling it by its angles, we're going to be calling it by its sides. So let's have a look at the sides on this one. Now, here, if you can see, the little numbers tell us how long this triangle is. Well, on each side. So, here, this long side is seven inches. This side says four inches. Here's what I'm gonna do. When I see a number, I'm gonna color code it. So I see that I'm gonna give seven in this triangle. It's gonna be red. Do I see any other sevens? Four is different. That needs a different color. And six is different. That should be a different color. I'll use blue. Okay. So when I look at it this way, I can tell, because I have all three different colors, I have three different numbers, I have three different lengths, which means all of them are different. Do you guys remember, if all three sides are different lengths, this is a scalene triangle. So I'll write that here. Scalene triangle. Because all three sides measure differently. All right, let's go on to this guy. Take these pages from back there because they're distracting me. All right, this one. Move this out of the way a little bit. Yeah. Have a look at that. So we have six inches, six inches, and nine inches. I got my colors ready to go. And what I'm gonna do again, I'm just going to, every time I see a new number, I'm gonna change colors. If numbers repeat, I'll use the same color. So I'll go here and I'll make 6P green. 9 is different, so I'll make that a different color. And 6, I've already done 6, so I have another green. And that kind of helps it pop out for me. I see two greens and one red, so they're not all the same, but they're not all different. Okay, so what do we call an, a triangle with two equal sides when one different? Isosceles. So this is an isosceles triangle, I-S-O, 
S-C. E-L-E-S. Isosceles. Dragon Queen. Cool. So this one is, these are actually both right triangles, but one of them is a right scalene triangle, and one of them is a right isosceles triangle, if you classify it by both angles and sides. Okay, let's move on to the next page. All right, let's try to go a little faster this time, but you can start looking at it and decide in your head if you still remember those three words. Equilateral, all sides are equal, scalene, all sides are different, isosceles, two sides equal, one different. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my classifying. I'll make nine be red. Don't see any other nines. Make five green, five again. I see that I have two of one number and one different. So this is an isosceles again, because I have two equal sides and one different. Isosceles. Yes. Triangle. Okay. Let's do this one. I'm going to use the blue because it's been neglected. All right, seven will get to be blue. I see seven again, so same. But four is different, so I'll make that one green. Okay, again, it jumps out at me. I see two blues, one green, two sevens, but one four. Two of the same, one different. And that is, again, isosceles. Isosceles triangle. Man, my triangle looks like a D. There we go. Isosceles. This could be a popular one. That's the third one we have. All right, let's have a look at this last page. We're almost done. So we have, I see the number six. I'll make that green. What do we have here? Six again. Oh, and six again. So we have three greens, all the same. So equal sides, equilateral. It's the first one of its kind we've had. Equilateral. Roll. By the way, do you guys remember when we were looking at the angles? This one was special for angles too. Let me find it. Looky. Looky here. This same triangle has all equal angles. They're all acute. And all its sides are the same length. It's almost like if all your angles are the same, all your sides to match up too. Hmm. So this is an equilateral triangle that means all its sides are the same length. Last one. Let's do our color coding. Again, you don't need to do color code, but I think it helps it stand out to my brain. So I see a six, I'll make it blue. I'll do green for eight. And this is four. This is I'll be red. So I'll use all three colors, they're all different. So if all sides are different, scaling. Triangle. All right, so this one is a scaling triangle. All sides are different lengths. So you will also have a page to work on that you can fill in in your computer where you're going to be deciding if triangles are by, by their sides, equilateral, scalene, or isosceles. So just be very careful that you read the instructions as one page tells you to classify them by angles. So are they right, acute, or obtuse? But then one page tells you to work with how long their sides are. Okay, so just look out for those. And that will be it for today.